In this video, I'm going to show you how to import multiple files into Audacity in a particular order, and then have Audacity align those files end to end, and then mix them down to a brand new track. So let's get started. Hello friends, Mike Adams here with Audacity Training. I have a screen open here of Audacity and I wanna show you a couple of ways, first of all, to import files into Audacity. If we come up to the file drop-down menu, we can import files right here. We can do import and then audio and import our files that way. Or we can choose to drag the files into Audacity. If I open up my Finder window, I'm on a Mac, so it's called Finder. You'll see that I have here on the right-hand column a bunch of MP3 files that I want to import into Audacity, and they're numbered 1 through 11. One thing that I've noticed doing it this way, it's important that in your numbers 1 through 9, that you have a 0 in front of them. So 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 3. If you import them without that 0 in front of those first nine numbers, sometimes it jumbles them up a little bit and gets them out of order. But right now, I'm going to take all of these files right here and I'm going to hold down the shift key. And these 11 files are the ones that I'm interested in. And I'm just gonna drag them over into the Audacity window. And after a couple of seconds, they all appear right here. So you can see that I have all 11 files right here uh, in Audacity ready to go. Now, I want these to be end to end. In other words, I want one file to play right after another, just as though it were still on the CD, which is where I got these from. So in order to do that, I'm going to let Audacity do it for me because I don't want to manually move these around and try to tweak them to get them end to end. I would rather let Audacity do it. So I'm going to press Command A to select all the tracks. Again, I'm on a Mac. If you're running Windows, it's going to be Control A. But I selected all the tracks using Command A. And now if I come up to the Tracks drop-down menu, I can tell it to align tracks end to end. And when I click on this, you'll see that it's going to keep each track in its own track, but it's going to stair-step them down so that they're in order. And so there's a look at each track one after the other. If I scroll down, you can see it's all 11 tracks, but they all are in order one after the other. And I didn't have to do it manually. Now, the next thing that I want to show you while I've got all the tracks selected is I want to mix these down to a brand new track. And there's a couple of ways to do that. If we come up to the Tracks drop-down menu, once again, and we look at Mix, we have a couple of options. We have Mix and Render, and then we have Mix and Render to a new track. The difference is Mix and Render will mix all of these down to a track, but these tracks will go away. And instead, they'll be replaced by a brand new track that we mixed and rendered to. But these individual tracks are going to disappear. The files aren't going anywhere. Those original files will still be there. But within Audacity, these tracks are going to disappear. Let me show you. If we click on Mix and Render here, we'll see what happens. And if it takes a long time, I'll speed up the video. You can see now that it's thinking about it. It's going to take a while, so I'll speed up the video right here. And now they've mixed and rendered. But they've mixed and rendered in such a way that those original tracks are gone. If I try to scroll down, there's nothing there. Those original tracks were all replaced by this new track. And you can see that all 11 of those files now are in order. You can see the spaces between the songs. And Audacity did a good job putting that together for me. But let's suppose I want to keep those original tracks in addition to the new track. I'm going to press Command-Z to undo what I just did. Again, if you're on Windows, it's Control-Z. And now we're back to that uh, screen where we have everything stepped down one after another. They're all in order. Now this time, while we've got the track selected still, I'm going to come back up to the Tracks drop-down menu, and I'm going to select Mix, but this time I'm going to go Mix and Render to New Track. And what that will do again is preserve these tracks and add a brand new track at the bottom where everything's mixed and rendered together. So I'm going to select that, and again, it's probably going to take a minute, so I'll speed the video up. And there it is. They've mixed and rendered to a brand new track. Now, if I scroll down, there's the brand new track. It preserved my first 11 tracks, which I wanted to preserve, but it also mixed and rendered them down 
to a brand new track so that I can choose to export that track if I want to. I can put additional effects on that track if I want to without touching the other tracks. So I wanted to just show you how to do that real quick within Audacity. It's one of the powerful tools within Audacity to be able to import tracks like this to align them for you and then to be able to mix them down to a new track or to mix them down to a track that's going to overwrite the first original tracks. So that's all I have for you in this video. Until next time, y'all take care.